Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 202. Vaccination. What is the use of vaccination? Vaccines are used to induce an active immune response, humoral and or cellular, to a specific pathogen. So basically the reasons you're given vaccines is that anytime you encounter that pathogen again, your body already has memory towards it and therefore it will be able to counter it really fast without causing any disruptions. What are the two different types of vaccines? The two different type of vaccines includes live attenuated vaccine and inactivated or killed vaccine. What is live attenuated vaccine? Live attenuated vaccine is when you create a vaccine in which the infectious agent is still alive but it has lost this pathogenicity. So basically live attenuated vaccine is when you're keeping the microorganism alive but you have made it harmless. What type of immunity are you trying to induce when giving live attenuated vaccine? You're trying to induce cell mediated immunity. What are the pros and cons of live attenuated vaccine? The pros of live attenuated vaccine is that it would induce a strong, often lifelong immunity towards that pathogen. The cons of live attenuated vaccine would be that that organism may become virulent again, so it may revert back to a harmful form. Give some examples of live attenuated vaccine. Live attenuated vaccines are what are used to protect against measles, mumps, polio, rubella, varicella, and yellow fever. What is inactivated or killed vaccine? Inactivated or killed vaccine is when you have a vaccine that is formed after you take a virus and you kill it by methods such as heat or formaldehyde. So you kill the virus to a point where it can no longer replicate, but the virus capsid proteins are still intact, and they are intact enough to be recognized by the immune system to evoke a response. What type of immunity are you trying to induce when giving inactivated or killed vaccine? Inactivated or killed vaccine will induce a humoral immunity, also known as antibody-mediated immunity. What are the pros and cons of inactivated or killed vaccine? The pros of inactivated or killed vaccine is that they are stable and safer than live vaccines. And the cons are that they are a weaker immune response, so booster shots are usually required. Give some examples of inactivated or killed vaccines. Examples of inactivated or killed vaccines include cholera, hepatitis A, polio, and rabies vaccines. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.